Well, this was the European Cup winners' cup tie. And I said, it's about ten days ago on BBC Wales, that I didn't think that Cardiff City could beat Sporting Club of Portugal. Well, after all, they beat Manchester United 5 0 last year, they're all into the competition. And after all, one must assume that they were more accomplished footballers than those of Cardiff City. What a wonderful performance it was by Cardiff City a week ago to win two goals to one in Lisbon. Now, today, at Minium Park, they had to defend to keep what they'd gained in Lisbon. Now, this is not always an easy job. They used John Charles, the sweeper, uh, behind the defence. They had a wing half playing in the forward line. And early on in the game, we saw how dangerous the sporting club of Lisbon boys can be because Bilbin John had to make three magnificent saves. But now, let's see how Cardiff City played it. And we'll pick up the game with a score nil-nil in the first half. to get out of that tight position. See what King can do. Taps got tight very well in the air for a fellow who's not got a great many inches. Now Harrington, that's a nasty looking ball. It's hands. It's hands anyway. It was hands. And the referee spotted it. Cardiff, what, just an hour away from the quarterfinals. British fans getting more and more excited as Cardiff hold on. Now Mendes to Sitoy. Figueredo, that's the dangerous one and a great save by John. Well, that's a warning to Cardiff. How quickly Sporting Club can snap up the chances. The outside right Farrell's got to take it. Now watch for Big John. Oh, it's goal kick. Never even got the big job. It was Derek Tapscott. Osvaldo. Sitoy. Figueredo. A beautiful one and a great save by John.
Parker. I had, and here's Tatcock limping back on. I, I don't think that Lydia Park has ever heard this chanting of off, off, off. But I often wonder what it means to the Portuguese. And there's Derek Tatscott. He looks as if he's had a row with Cassius Clare at the moment. And uh, 20 minutes left. Uh, battle to take the corner for Cardiff City. Now watch King and the goalkeeper because there's going to be fun. I, I should have mentioned the goalkeeper will go to the back of the net when this ball comes over. And Charles going up. And that's Charles flat out now. A collision of heads. Charles and Mendes. No foul. It was completely accidental. These two big fellas went up. Big John's all right, but Mendes isn't. This might, might not be the prettiest game of football Cardiff City have played this season, but it's certainly been the most effective. A game they had to play to keep what they won in Lisbon, springboard from defence to attack whenever they could. And they managed to contain this all-star side, which, remember, rattled in five goals. It's Red United, it's all over! Cardiff City have won! Cardiff City have won this tie, they're in the last eight, and the crowd invading the pitch. The result, Erendinium Park, no score, which means Cardiff City are through to the last eight of the European Cup for this cup on a 2-1 aggregate, a great and fantastic victory for second division Cardiff City over a team which contains some of the best players in Europe, and the Cardiff fans now really celebrating their victory. And Let's hope they'll celebrate it even more at Cardiff's next game by rolling up in their thousands and giving Cardiff City the bumper gate they deserve. So with no score here tonight, Cardiff City are through on a 2-1 aggregate and meet Rail Saracota in the next round. Now with that, it's good night from a jubilant Millennium Park Cardiff.